Today, me and Tom are at Brown and Holmes in Tamworth, and we're going to be talking about all things automated. We're stood in front of a Bridgeport BMC 610. Do you know what the 610 stands for? The length of the bed. Length of the bed. See, he knows his stuff. <laughs> Like I said, we're going to be talking about all things automation and Brown and & Holmes are renowned for their work holding, offering automation to their customers and we're going to just take a quick look at what they've got set up on this basic three-axis BMC and how they've made it all automated. So what are we going to start with, Tom? What questions have you got for me? Should we start with the... Well, this looking contraption on top of the machine. This looking contraption on top of this machine. So this is Brown & Home's brand new product that they're going to be showcasing um, with their customers. So it's an automatic door opener and closer. So would that be useful to a machine shop? Oh, definitely. Because what I like about this is you can fit it to any machine, old or new. So you've been listening to what me and Mark <laughs> have been saying. Um, like Tom said, it can be fitted to any type of machine, a 25-year-old machine, a two-month-old machine, to automate your system. So how does it work, Tom? Uh, well, it can actually be done by the robot. The robot sends signals to tell it when to open and close the door for when the robot needs to load the part. So basically, if the day shift go off, we can set some parts up for the night shift and run all throughout the night. It's so easy to install. It works with every single manufacturer of machine. It works with every single operator mode, Fanuc, Siemens, Hyde 9. So, is it good for any type of customer? Oh, definitely, yes. But I've got a question for you. Oh, God. How long does it take to install? Two hours. We were talking to Mark earlier. It takes two hours to install and fit. So it's really easy to integrate. It integrates to your e-stop as well. So if anything happens, the whole machine shuts down. So it's really got a big risk ass assessment with it. Um, and Brown and Holmes are really proud to show it off. So Chloe, I have another question for you. How do Brown and Holmes know this will fit your machine? So Brown and Holmes will come out and do a solid survey of your machine. If it's got two doors, concertina doors, it's a lathe, a mill, they'll take that into consideration, get all the measurements for it and be able to make it unique for your machine. So now we've, we've spoke about the door opening system, but what about the robot? This is an Omron Techman, fantastic cobot, robot, great for what uh, Brown and Holmes are going to showcase in here with automation. So what we've got here is, like you said, it's integrated with the door. So once the robot has picked a part up or taken a, a finished part out, sorry, dropped it on the table, picked a raw part up, put it in, it will then speak to the machine, close the door and then wait for it to be machined, open the door, pick the finished part out, put a raw part in and the cycle continues. If you've got 20 parts on there, you're going to get 20 parts out. If you've got 200 parts on there, you're going to get 200 parts out. And it's just a great way of utilising your machine as a whole. And when you come back in from the, uh, from the night, you've got all these parts that have been made for you because of this fantastic cobalt. There is one thing, Tom, I want to ask you. There's a marker on this table. What's that got to do with the system and everything like that? Now, this marker is very clever because the robot can actually scan that marker so it knows what parts are on your table. So if you've got multiple table with multiple parts, you don't have to reprogram your robot for each table. All the robot has to do is scan that marker and it knows everything. That was a really good explanation. <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to say it like that. So what I can do is basically have three different parts set up and this robot knows what part is going to be machining and can talk to the machine. Yeah, and also another thing that's great about that is you don't have to have the robot for one machine. If you've got your robot on wheels, you can move that robot from machine to machine. As soon as it scans the marker, it knows what parts and where to load onto the machine. How fantastic is that? So you're not just going, utilizing it for one machine. If you have a machine shop of 15 machines, they're just one robot can be moved around different different machines. If you've got two robots, you can move them around, or it can be probably feeding a machine and then a machine. So there's so many possibilities that you can get out of this robot. So with having the robot and the door system, you don't have to go out and spend the big money to turn any machine into an automated machine. And that's what I like about Brown and Holmes is they're not just a work holding company. They're so there's so much more than that they can offer. They can offer you something for every part of engineering. And what I've seen behind me is a four plus one 
uh, rotary table and Brown and Holmes have got their own bespoke work holding making for Brown and Holmes. So why would we put a, a fourth, fourth axis onto a regular VMC? Why wouldn't we just buy a fourth axis machine? It's cheaper, <laughs> essentially. But with that, if you don't want to go out and buy or don't have the funds to go out and buy a brand new five axis machine, there's other ways of utilizing the machines you've got to do different types of work. If you want to branch out into another sector, you can do it with just one of these. And it's just as easy as a plug and play system, really. We can put this four axis machine on the end of the table. That means we can still utilize a three axis BMC on the left hand side of the table and have the four axis on the other side. This can be transferable. So like the Cobot, it can be moved from machine to machine. And um, it just it just adds the automation again, doesn't it? It's so, talking so much about automation, adds so much more benefits to your machine shop by just purchasing something like this. Yeah, and it gives you it also gives you flexibility because if you bought a machine specific to that, you have that that table. But with this, you can have your 610 mil table. <laughs> which you can then use without that. So if you've got a longer part, take it off. Like you said, plug and play, take it off, do your longer part. You want to do automation, plug it in, press go. So if you're interested in any automation or anything that me and Tom have been talking about, please contact the guys at Brown and Holmes.